What's up, everyone? I'm Ian McCarthy of Lifting for Life and bringing you another training vlog tonight. And as you might have noticed from the date, I have been hardcore procrastinating on this video. And I wasn't really sure why until it struck me that I didn't have a topic in mind that I was super compelled by and I didn't want to just do a vlog along the lines of here I'm doing a pull-up, this is for my lats, etc. Although I would note if if you're someone who feels there would be you know, enough value in doing that, that doing something like that, that I should do it. Please do let me know, and I'm open-minded to doing some, you know, very cut and dry, just explanatory uh, training vlogs talking about the actual training. But what I want to talk to you about tonight is productivity, and in that, ironically, this week, the week where I said, okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to put five videos on YouTube, things kind of all of the sudden got way more busy on the back end of Lifting for Life programming and consultations and uh, working on projects that will be, you'll see the work panning out publicly in the future. So, so it's been a challenge and I want to talk about you know, some of the principles that I try to keep in mind in practice to handle stuff like this. So, and this has been Kind of a continuous focus or project for me over the past year in that it's something I've struggled with so two two basic principles underlie a lot of what I do and one is more negative and the other positive so on the negative side I and I don't mean really negative in the sense of emotional or something like this but rather just technically it's a negative of I have become much more willing to drop things of less importance when other things come up. So one example, sadly, has been over the past couple of weeks, I've read much less scientific literature. Now again, I feel bad about that, it's something I care about and desire to do, but other things have come up that I've had to deal with. So one option would have been to say, okay, I'm unwilling to not read scientific literature in this period. So these other things that have come up, these opportunities I've had, I'm going to say, well, I can't do that. Or I could have overcommitted and then potentially not done any of it, done some of it 55% of what it should be, etc. And so again, I've, I've become more willing to say, all right, this just isn't going to happen right now. On the other hand, on the positive side, I have been much more aggressive about at least trying my best to address that which needs to be addressed. So an example this week has been programming. To put it very simply, more people have been contacting me and paying for custom programming. So that's meant that every single day this week, I've spent two or three hours programming, which I wasn't doing in the week prior. And really, programming has been something that I didn't deliberately deprioritize but I was doing less of in the two or so months previous to this past week. So again, one option would have been to say, well, I have these other things in place that I'm unwilling to, you know, not to do. And some things are in that category. For example, I wouldn't say, yes, I'm going to do more programs instead of actually lifting, but I was willing to compromise in the sense of, okay, these studies aren't going to get read right now, but I'm going to get these programs done. And there have been other examples. One is meditation. Meditation is something that I've really been emphasizing since last May. I think when I started, I had never meditated in my life prior to then. And I benefit, I benefit from it tremendously, and it's something that I need to do consistently and often to benefit from. Otherwise, like, it's really funny. Um, I regress in the sense of Perhaps the most kind of tangible difference is I'm just much more prone to irritation when I haven't meditated, and that's been something that I still meditated every single day this week, but less. And there was a moment today where I just said, okay, I really need to kind of catch up on this. And, and I just did it. It was as simple as this is just what I'm going to do, and I'm, you know, all these other things that I desire to do that I'm going to do will happen after this. And I had a similar 
borderline epiphany with with the reading of studies earlier this week, I was re I was starting to feel particularly bad about it enough that it was something that I just need, again I desired to address aggressively. So I I had this moment of just prior to eating my pre workout meal a couple of days ago, I just stopped everything. Like I typically have music playing, turned it off, shut down everything other than just one screen, study on it, read it, and I'm not sure if I had if I would have been able to it and, and you know it's a I'm real I, I realize you know everything is relative. Like someone might say, you know, how big a deal is that really? But it's you know relative to your situation and your priorities. And I was going to say that perhaps even a year ago, I don't think I would have been able to handle that in that way. Um, in interestingly, perhaps the time and energy would have been expended as a function of being stressed out by the situation, as opposed to just identifying something that needs to get done. So actually, to speak to that point, with the remaining couple of minutes I likely have. For some reason, iMovie isn't scrolling. Am I able? Ooh, I can do this. Technology. Fascinating. To speak to a couple of really practical points that I very much hope will benefit at least one person watching slash listening to this, I made a huge point of making to-do lists every single day. It's something I started doing last year and then got out of the habit of doing it. and and. It's so much harder to justify in your mind not doing something when you've written it down because you can't uh, just, well, I mean, you can literally pretend like you haven't written it down, but it, that's something solid that's just there. And so that's helped tremendously. Also just remembering all the things that, that I want to do. And uh, another interesting uh, benefit of it is as you do things that accumulates. Uh, it snowballs in the sense of you you feel empowered by what you've done. So this is way more in the direction of psychology than I even thought it would be, you know, knowing what I was going to be talking about. But that's something that's benefited me. And then similar the, similarly, the the other excuse me, the two other points of being willing to not do things that I want to do in favor of ensuring other things get done, and being very aggressive about addressing uh, issues as they arise. And so I'm tremendously happier and more productive than I've been in the past, which I, I would say is a win. So I hope you found some value in this discussion. If you did, please do leave a like below. Feel free to comment on this topic. And like I said, I'm quite open to doing more cut and dry training vlogs in the future, talking about what it is I'm doing, why, etc. Let me know what you're interested in. I, one of the things that didn't happen this week is I didn't film any training for vlogs so that it really just wouldn't have happened in terms of uh, having the time and energy for it. But when, when my situation is different in terms of how busy I am with all these other things I've mentioned, and also when I actively desire to film more, I will do more. That's another important point. You should do things you enjoy. Sometimes it's appropriate to wait until you feel better, wait until you actively desire to do something, and sometimes it's better to just do that which needs to be done. Probably feel better afterwards. Ian McCarthy, 23-year-old life coach. All right, thanks so much, guys. Like I said, please do like the video if you found it valuable. Comment below. I will see you... I will likely see you again very soon with an informative video. I have some good ideas. I hope you like them. Okay, bye.